हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ क्लास नाइन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट नंबर्स यू हैव लर्न इन डिफरेंट क्लासेस एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल्स व्हाट इज रैशनल नंबर एंड हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट हाउ टू फाइंड रैशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन एनी टू गिवन रैशनल नंबर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज ए रैशनल नंबर हाउ टू लोकेट ए रैशनल नंबर ऑन द नंबर लाइन एंड क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू सो लेट स्टार्ट Irrational numbers, irrational numbers are the numbers which we cannot be write, which we cannot write in the form of p by q. Means the numbers which cannot be written in the form of p by q are irrational numbers, where p and q are integers and q not equal to zero. Some examples of irrational numbers are root two, root three, root fifteen. Pi, pi is also irrational number. And this decimal number zero point one zero one double zero one triple zero. So let's explain it. Let's discuss it. Here root two, root three, root fifteen. So this two, three, fifteen. All these are not perfect square. So under the radical sign means square root of non-perfect square numbers are irrational numbers. Pi pi is also irrational numbers. When we take pi value is twenty two by seven. Means 22 by 7 is its approximate value. So if someone asks for 22 by 7, is rational or irrational? So it is rational because we can write it in p by q form as we discussed in the previous video. But pi, its approximate value is 22 by 7. Its actual value is 3.14159 and so on up to infinite. There are infinite digits after decimal in value of pi. So this is a rational number, and also it is non-recurring. It's neither terminating and non-recurring. That's why this pi is an irrational number. Now, why this decimal number is irrational? Because this is also point one zero, one zero zero, one triple zero, and so on. So zeros are increasing, na? Means the same set of digits is not recurring. Here, if it is one point one zero, one zero, one zero up to infinite. That will be rational, but here it is point one zero one double zero one triple zero and so on. So that's why it is an irrational number. Now, are all the numbers which are under the square root are irrational? No, because root four four is perfect square. So root four we can write as two. That is rational number because two is can be written as two by one. One more important point. Every real number R, real number can be either rational or irrational. So every real number R can be represented by a unique point on the number line. Means we can represent every real number on the number line, either it is rational or irrational. Now, one confusion here for the students: root four is two or plus minus two. So I'll clear that root four value. Because this under the square root only positive is real number, so root four is only two. It's not plus minus two. It's not plus minus two because the value which we get at after the square root for the positive number it is always positive. When we get plus minus two, we get plus minus two in case if it is given x square equals to four. So we write that. X equals to plus minus root four means again it is plus minus two only. Getting my point? So I think your confusion is clear because x square means this is two degree, so we have two roots, so plus or minus two. But again the value of root four is only two. Let's discuss how to locate root two on the number line. So. Locate root two on the number line. First, you have to draw a number line. Let this number line L. This point zero, one, two, minus here left side it's minus one, minus two. These points are on equal distances, okay? And it goes on infinite both the sides. Right hand side is positive, and left hand side it's negative. Now what you have to do? As we know the root two, 
for root 2 just draw one unit 0 to 1 one unit length 0 to 1 miss this name this point a so 0 1 this is one unit and now draw a perpendicular on this point a and make it one unit distance so this oa is one unit distance and ab is also one unit distance as it is given here now if we join this ob means this oab is a triangle right angle triangle because this is 90 degree if you join ob that will be the length root 2 units if this oa is one unit ab is also the same one unit and if we join ob that will be root 2 units so here to locate this on number line what you will do just make just use your compass for this take o as center and ob as a radius and then make this arc pb arc this bp and that will intersect this number line at point p so here ob is equals to op and that represents root 2 units now why it happens if someone asks for the justification what you can do because we know in right angle triangle this is right angle triangle oab so in right angle triangle this pythagoras theorem we can follow so right angle triangle oab what we can say the base is square means oa is square plus perpendicular is square ab is square is equals to ob is square hypotenuse is square here oa is base ab is perpendicular and ob is hypotenuse hypotenuse is the longest side in right angle triangle so here what we can say this ob because this ob is root 2 na so how it how we get this so ob is equals to taking a square root both the sides so this is square root of oa square plus ab square so oa is here one unit so this is one unit ab is also one unit so this is also one unit now one square plus one square is two and its square root means under the radical sign it is now root 2 so i hope it is clear to you you can plot root 2 on the number line now let's say how to locate root 3 on number line to locate root 3 on number line first we we'll locate root 2 only okay because to locate one greater number we have to just locate the previous number on the number line so locate root 3 on the number line here root 3 so for root 3 first we we'll locate root 2 as you, as you can see in the diagram this o a and b so this ob is root 2 we already seen here now make perpendicular on b and this is also of one unit okay this perpendicular you can use by compass making this arc and this 60 degree 120 degree then bisecting the angle and then 90 degree and take it one unit if it is root 2 unit that is one unit so ob is root 2 unit here bc is one unit now join oc so in triangle obc this oc will be root 3 and if you have to locate that point on number line what you will do take o as a center and oc as a radius and make this arc using your compass this cq arc this arc cq this is an arc okay by using your compass so this q point represents root 3 on number line because this OC this is same and if you mark and come arc the distance is same so OC is equals to OQ equals to root 3 and why it happens because again this OBC is a right angle triangle here the base is root 2 so this base is square root 2 is square plus perpendicular is 1 so this 1 is square and that is root 2 is square is 2 plus 1 is square is 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 and its square root of this is root 3 so we can say root 3 can be located by point OC or point OQ this is distance now exercise 1.2 all the questions are based on this let's discuss it one by one in first question it's given just open your book NCRT book page number 8 exercise 1.2 question number 1 state whether the following statements are true or false 
and justify your answers so your first statement says what first question says every irrational number is a real number the first statement says every irrational number is real what we have seen that real numbers real numbers are either rational or irrational either rational or irrational and it says that every irrational number is a real of course because this all irrational numbers are there in real numbers so first statement is here true so question number 1 first statement is true because every irrational number is a real number because real number contains all the rational as well as irrational numbers second part is every point on the number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number this is true or false we have to find now we can see that 0 can be written as root 0 of course this 1 can be written as root 1 this 2 can be written as root 4 every number on the positive side and the 0 can be represented by root m form here negative point the same distance here let's say this is minus 1 so can we represent this minus 1 as a root m form where m is natural root m form m is natural so if we write this one because natural number is one na? so root 1 is never be minus 1 as we have seen in root 4 case it will be plus 2 only it not plus or minus 2 means negative numbers cannot be written in root m form and here it is given every point on number line is of the form root m means that is false because negative numbers cannot be written in root m form only we can write it as a minus of root m not of this root of minus m root of minus m will be imaginary number you will study this in class 11 but here this minus root 1 means minus root m you can represent by minus root m but not only root m form that's why the second statement is false the third statement every real number is an irrational number we have seen that real numbers include the rational as well as irrational numbers and it says that every real number is irrational no because real number can be rational also means the third statement is definitely false now question number 2 are the square roots of all positive integers irrational if not give an example of a square root of a number that is rational number we have seen in this here this we have seen here that root 4 root 4 is square root of 4 and this is rational this is 2 here it is given are the square root of all positive integers irrational this 4 is positive integer and its square root is here rational means here the third statement is also false so this third statement is sorry question number 2 so this is false because we can say the square root of all positive integers are not irrational because root 4 is rational na? and here example is also there root 4 let's say you can see root 9 because ninth root is 3 root 9 is 3 similarly root 16 so all positive perfect square numbers square root will be rational now question number 3 says show how root 5 can be represented on the number line to represent root 5 one way is to represent this by first making this root 2 then making this one unit perpendicular and join this that becomes root 3 now make again one unit perpendicular on c and join this o and that point that will be root 4 then again one unit and that will get, you will get root 5 this is one way but root 5 can be represented by simple manner like this o a here if we take the zero is a one point here this point and this is two so this if we take two units distance o a and this b point as one unit 
this a b is one unit and if we join this because this o a is two units and make perpendicular on two perpendicular on a that is 90 degree and make it one unit and if you join now this o b that will represent root phi why it represent root phi and why we have taken this two unit distance because the root phi value root phi value is more than root 4 value na root phi value is more than root 4 value root 4 we already know it's 2 means if we take this unit distance this p o a as two units and if you make this one unit perpendicular on a that is ab so what we'll have this by pythagoras theorem this 2 is square plus 1 is squares is square root this this quantity represented by this ob so here 2 is square is 4 plus 1 is square is 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 means root 5 is the number which you can locate by this ob and if you have to plot this on number line so what you will do take o as center ob as radius and draw an arc that cuts it on number line so root 5 value is greater than 2 i think it is clear to you question number 4 says it's a classroom activity square root spiral so if you want this just comment below i'll make the separate video for this thanks for watching